All right, guys, so today we are going to be taking on the new Goku and Cooler event called Fighting Spirit of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline. Now, I know this event came out a few days ago, and, uh, you know, a lot of you guys have probably already completed it, but I haven't had a chance to run it until pretty much right now. And at first, I wanted to do a stream just for this event, right? But then someone told me that apparently it's not that hard. Like, I thought it was going to be very similar to the Cell Max event, where, you know, the enemies were really, really difficult, and we would have to do multiple runs for each of the stages. But, no, apparently, each stage only takes about three to four minutes to complete, and it's really not that much of a challenge. So in that case, a video definitely makes a lot more sense, right? So yeah, with that said, why don't we jump into the cooler stage first? And I have built teams for both of these runs. So for this side, we have a Goku's family team right here with the, well, actually I want to bring double Super Saiyan 4 Goku's. So we got Super Saiyan 4 Goku's. We have the new LR Birdku, which, uh, I pulled recently, I'm not going to say how or when, but you guys will see that soon. And then we have the Extremes The Awakened STR Ultimate Gohan, the AGL uh, LR Gohan, the Tech Transforming Gohan, and finally the Fizz Super Saiyan 2 slash Super Saiyan 3 Goku as well. Uh, as far as the items go, I might actually switch things out a little bit. So let's go for a Whis and a Princess Snake. I think that makes sense. But once again, I've been told it's not that hard. So maybe we won't have to use items at all. We'll see. So yeah, this is the team. Let's jump in here for our first attempt and hopefully the only attempt we need to make. And it looks like we're starting by fighting Salza and the rest of the uh, armored squadron, right? And yeah, we got Bird Coup on the first rotation, so perfect. Let's put Bird Coup there. Uh, I'll link him up with the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And as far as type advantages go, we don't really have one here, so. Uh, let's attack Naze, because why not? He's probably the weakest. And then we will go for Salsa with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And uh, I guess we'll keep attacking him with the Fizz Goku as well. All right, let's see how hard these guys hit. So the normal attack wasn't too bad, and we're getting just over four mil with the bird coup here. Can we kill? Oh, he's dead, wow. Okay, so, so far, so good. So far, so good. These guys don't have a lot of HP. They don't seem to hit very hard either. Of course, we haven't faced the cooler yet, and Oh, that was actually some damage. Never mind. <laughs> that was some damage. A normal attack, even though we have type disadvantage there, a normal attack on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku after he supers, hitting for 30 plus K is actually no joke. That's no joke. Okay. So for this rotation, um, I want to do the two Gohans together. And the reason I brought these guys is because I don't really get a chance to use them too much, so now that we are running a Goku's family team, I might as well bring them together. So here we go, hopefully these two guys can finish off the Dore is his name, I'm pretty sure. I literally just rewatched the Kohler movie, but these guys, I mean their names are not really mentioned too much. I think they did say all their names at some point, but... I didn't pay attention to them too much, so I think it's Dore, Naze, and of course, Bowser slash Salza. Okay, so now we're facing Cooler. Um, we're gonna link the uh, LR Gohan and the Bird Coup together because they share all seven links with each other, which is amazing. And Bird Coup should definitely be able to handle himself, especially with the guard. And uh, yeah, there we go. Should we use an item? Uh, let's not. Let's let's see how much damage we take first. If we take a lot of damage, then maybe I will pop an item, but I'm not really overly concerned 
right now, at least for this phase, maybe the next phase, we'll use an item. But if we can no item it, that's even better, right? So here's a super attack. This will be interesting. Gonna do 39k, yeah, that's totally fine. That is totally fine. Of course, Bird Coup is a good defender. I'm sure that a lesser defend- Oh my god, yo. <laughs> we have type advantage and he took that much damage. Well, damn, okay. Interesting. So we definitely have to be careful. It would appear that we do have to be careful. Um, luckily, we are going to kill him here, so I don't have to worry about using an item for the Fizz Goku. But... On the next phase, I think I might actually have to use a Whis or something like that. Maybe. We'll see We'll see where the attacks are, right? And who's taking most of the attacks. Because Bird Coup, I think, can still handle his own. So I'm not, I'm not worried about him. But if uh, the other guys are taking too many hits, then that could be a problem. Like, for example... Um... Yeah, Gohan in the middle, he has some defense, but if that one attack is a super, then we might get screwed. So maybe I should pop an item just for him. Okay, first things first, we're going to do that, get some easy damage in there. And then I'm thinking we go for a Whis, just because I did not like how much damage we took from the normal attack in the last turn. So, you know what, yeah, just to be safe, we'll come back for a no item run for sure, but let's pop the Whis. And with that, I don't think there's anything else to be concerned about, but why risk the super, right? Why risk taking a super on the Gohan and potentially dying? That would be really, really rough. All right, Bird Koo, show me what you got. 5.8, oh, he can dodge. He can dodge. I did not know this guy could dodge. Now with the Whis, I'm assuming it's going to be like double digits. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Even without the Whis, I'm pretty sure it would have been like, I don't know, under 10k most likely. Uh, Bird Koo, as we've been calling him, is a very good defender. Very, very good slot 1 defender. Um, and mine is only at 50%. Imagine if he was at you know, 79% with two dupes, with like a bunch more stats, and uh, of course, with some more hidden potential investment as well, we would be able to do more damage as well. But yeah, his defense, even at 55%, is holding up really, really well, which I'm happy to see. And hey, you know what? I don't get to do this a lot, so I'm gonna pop this ultimate Gohan transformation active skill. It's very long, so <laughs> we're gonna be here for a minute, but. Um, yeah, like I said, man, I haven't seen this in forever, and it's, it's nice to get a chance to actually, to watch it again. Okay, so, we should still be fine defensively. I'm gonna give him just the one orb there. Um, should I pop the Super Saiyan 4 Goku active skill? You know what, we'll leave that. We'll leave that, just in case, um, we do too much damage and we kill him. I, don't, I guess we wouldn't have killed Cooler anyways, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. I want to get some attacks off with my Gohans. So that's going to be some nice damage there. Beauty. Yo, I heard a lot of people, well not a lot of people, but some people, some people were talking crazy about this tech Gohan, right? They were like, oh, you know, he's not really that strong anymore, he's not that impressive anymore, you know, with the new meta, blah blah blah. And I'm like, yo, he's still one of the better TURs to me, you know, like, he's still very, very good. Um, his damage, maybe, is like, not as impressive anymore, but as you can see, he can still get some decent numbers. We just got, what, 6.2 mil, 6 mil there, or something like that? And that's without support, so, all I'm saying is, I think he's still really good, guys. I still think he's still very good. Uh, let's move on to the Goku stage. And of course for this one, we're running the cooler team, the Wicked Bloodline team right here. 
And let's grab another. Ooh, we got a rainbow cooler. I gotta take that. I gotta take that. Now, what's kind of whack is that this guy did not give his cooler, his rainbow cooler, a bronze orb, which I don't understand, but... All right, you do you, man. You do you. I mean, it's it's your rainbow cooler. My cooler's not rainbowed, so what can I say? What can I say? Okay, so we're facing Goku and Gohan first. There is the entrance animation, which is easily my favorite entrance animation in the entire game right now. It's not even close. It's not even close. And let's see what our rotations look like. We got the rainbow cooler. Um, ooh, there's a lot of AGL attacks, though. A lot of AGL attacks. I'm a little bit concerned about one of those being a super attack. Ah, uh, let me think. Well, we can do this, but at the same time, at the same time, there's also quite a few AGL attacks at the end. Screw it. Let's leave Cooler where he is. We're gonna test him a little bit. Okay, we're gonna give him a test to see what he can do here and uh, hopefully it works out now the goal is to kill the goku before we get attacked in the third slot oh okay so we are taking some damage we, we are taking some damage that's good to know at least there was no super so we lucked out there actually we definitely lucked out there can we get one more attack or one more super at least come on one more super okay we got a lot of attacks a lot of normal attacks and obviously a massive difference in defense once we get to we got to super and also launched i think that was five attacks in total it looked to me like five so we at least built you know five stacks of the attack and defense on his passive and then we got some defense on the super attack too and now we should be able to kill the goku so only the gohan is left perfect all right uh let's see here you know what i'm gonna put frieza in the first slot because safety first why not and then we'll let the cooler build up a little bit before we let him take any attacks in the first slot um as i said before man in my showcase earlier today i feel like cooler can be a good slot one defender right it just takes a little bit of time for him to build up his passive and uh, once it's fully built up he's still gonna have a lot of defense obviously not as much as maybe you would like but he can be a decent slot one defender and then if you put him in slot two then he'll hold up against anything you know like he'll have I mean after two or three supers he's gonna have like 500k plus defense maybe six seven hundred depending on you know what percentage your cooler's at and he will be just fine he will be just fine okay so i'm gonna put cool in the first slot because we have 300k defense and we also um have type advantage so there's really nothing to be concerned about now the question is do i save these for the full power frieza i think i should but we should also get a super off with a cooler right Hmm, tough call. You know what, if I give these to the to the cooler, that's still going to be an 18 key super. Oh, it's not. I lied. Okay, I messed up. <laughs> I thought there was one more orb there uh, than there actually was. So, no super for the, or no 18 key at least for the full power Frieza, but it might not matter. It might not matter. Um, it looks like we're going to do some some good things against this Goku. And if we can get like three supers off, he might just be dead. He's definitely, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. There's, there's no chance he's surviving this. A cooler's gonna solo Goku, which is not a surprise. Because as I said in my uh, showcase thumbnail, <laughs> or my showcase title actually, um, from, from, you know, a few hours ago, uh... I don't think the word broken is actually enough to describe this this cooler, man. I think the cooler is... I don't even know what the right word is. He's just... He's beyond broken. He's beyond broken. Just to call him broken is an understatement. He, in my opinion, is the best unit in the game right now. That is just how I feel. 
you guys feel differently, feel free to, you know, educate me in the comments <laughs> if you want. But man, oh, yo, we gotta give one of these to the cooler. But I'm definitely gonna do that, and maybe to the Goku as well. Additional for Goku, crit for cooler, right? That's uh, that's perfect. All right, so. Anyways, guys, um, that was it. That was the video. It would have been a very short stream if I streamed it, so I'm glad that I went with the uh, video instead. If you guys are having any issues with this event, um, basically just bring a friend bird coup for the for the cooler, and then bring a friend cooler for the Goku, and you'll be fine, man. The friend cooler and the friend Goku will essentially just solo the uh, enemy cooler slash uh, Goku respectively, right? So the rest of your team doesn't even matter that much. Obviously it has to be a decent team to like get to the final phase, but once you get to the final phase, especially with the Goku against, or rather with the cooler against the enemy Goku, it's gonna be a breeze, man. It's gonna be super easy as you just, just saw, right? So yeah, guys, that's all I gotta say. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>